In this video, we're going to work with powers and exponents. So for example, what is 6 to the power of 2? 6 to the power of 2 is the same as 6 times 6. So as you can see, 6 times 6, 2 times. And 6 times 6 will give you 36. So number 6 here is called the base. And number two is called the exponent. What is two to the power of six? Two to the power of six is just two times two times two times two times two and times two. So as you can see, it's two times two six times. So two times two will give you four. Over here, it's also 4. This one is 4. 4 times 4 gives you 16. And 16 times 4 gives you 64. 3 to the power of 4 is going to be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now, note that this dot means multiplication. You can also write like this, 3 times 3, or 3.3, three three. it means the same thing. 3 times 3 gives you 9. Over here, it's also 9. So 9 times 9 gives you 81. What if you get a number to the power of 0? So what is 71 to the power of 0? It is quite easy. Whenever you get a number to the power of 0, the answer will always be 1. So if I say 3 to the power of 0, what is the answer? Well, it's also going to be 1. And how about 0 to the power of 2? Well, let's see. So 0 to the power of 2 is 0 times 0, which is also 0. Now let's try 0 to the power of 1,000. So it's just 0 times itself a thousand times. So whenever you get 0 to the power of something, the answer will always be 0. But the exception is if you have 0 to the power of 0, the answer will be undefined. And that's just something you have to know. What is 10 to the power of 6? Well, 10 to the power of 6 is 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 and times 10 again. Now, 10 times 10 gives you 100, and 10 times 10 times 10 gives you 1,000. So you just stack the zeros together. There are six zeros, so you have 1 million. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. 100 to the power of 4 is equal to 100 times 100 times 100 and times 100. How many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you have 1 and 8 zeros. What if you have a negative sign? Here we have negative 5 in brackets to the power of 2. That's simply going to be negative 5 times negative 5. There are an even number of negative signs, so the answer will be positive, and 5 times 5 gives you 25. What happens if we bring the negative sign outside? So the negative sign here is not inside the brackets. Well, in this case, this is equal to negative 1 times 5 to the power of 2. That's the same as negative 1 times 5 to the power of 2 gives you 25. And negative 1 times 25 gives you negative 25. Negative 4 in brackets to the power of 3 is equal to negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 4 gives you positive 16. 16 times negative 4 gives you negative 64. Now let's bring the minus sign outside. So we have negative 4 to the power of 3 without the brackets. 
this is equal to negative 1 times 4 to the power of 3. That's equal to negative 1 times, and 4 to the power of 3 is 64. So this will give you negative 64. What is 1 to the power of 2? 1 to the power of 2 is the same as 1 times 1, which gives you 1. And 1 to the power of 4 is 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, right? And so it's just 1 times itself 4 times, and that will also give you 1. So whenever you have 1 to the power of any number, you will always get 1. So 1 to the power of 2023 is also going to be 1. What is 1 to the power of 0? That's also going to be 1. Negative 1 to the power of 4 in brackets. So this is equal to negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. There is an even number of negative signs. So the answer will be positive, and it's just 1 times 1. The answer will also be 1. What is minus 1 to the power of 4? This is equal to negative 1 times 1 to the power of 4. That's equal to negative 1 times 1 to the power of 4 is 1. So negative 1 times 1 gives you negative 1. Let me show you an easy trick. If you have negative a in brackets to the power of b and b is positive, then if b is an odd number, the answer will always be negative. If b is an even number, then the answer will always be positive. Now, if you take the negative sign outside the brackets, then the answer will always be negative. So go ahead and copy this down, and we'll do a few more examples. What is 7 over 11 to the power of 2? Well, this will be 7 over 11 times 7 over 11. So it multiplied itself twice. And multiplying fractions is very easy. You take 7 times 7, that gives you 49. 11 times 11 will give you 121. What if the exponent is negative? So here we have 3 to the power of negative 1. It is very easy. So all you have to do is just flip it. So once you flip, you have 1 over 3. And that's basically it. What is 4 to the power of negative 1? Once you flip it, you will have 1 over 4. Let's try something a bit more challenging. What if you have 3 to the power of negative 2? Well, the first thing you're going to do is since the exponent is negative, you're going to flip the number 3 first. So you have 1 over 3 to the power of 2. Now you have 1 over 3 times 1 over 3, and that will give you 1 over 9. How about 4 to the power of negative 3? We're going to flip the 4, so you have 1 over 4 to the power of 3. And that's going to be 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 times 1 over 4. So go ahead and try this one. You will get 1 over 64. What is negative 2 over 3 in the brackets to the power of negative 2? Since the exponent is negative, we flip the 2 over 3 first. So we have negative 3 over 2 to the power of 2. And that is going to be negative 3 over 2 times negative 3 over 2. Since there are two negative signs, the answer will be positive. So we just multiply it normally. So 3 times 3 gives you 9, and 2 times 2 will give you 4. Let's do one last one. We have negative 2 over 3, but this time the negative sign is outside of the brackets, and 2 over 3 to the power of negative 2. Remember the rule, if you have a negative sign outside the bracket, the answer will always be negative. We have negative 1 times 2 over 3 to the power of negative 2. Then we flip the 2 over 3 to get negative 1 times 3 over 2 to the power of 2. This would be negative 1 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2. 3 times 3 gives you 9, and 2 times 2 gives you 
4. And that's basically it for today. If you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments below.